Hello Year 5, it's Friday week 8 and this is your math session for Blue and Green group today. We're going to begin with some arithmetic practice, so if you'd like to pause the video now and you can have a go at these calculations. And here we have the answers for today. We've started to pick up on things we've been looking at over the last few weeks. Um, and still we will be returning to certain calculations so if any of these are particularly tricky please don't worry we will be returning to these and revisiting these in due course so those are the answers there if you would like to um, mark your own work and send in to your teacher how you've done we'd love to see it Okay, so today will be quite a short video um, because you are actually going to be carrying on with what you were doing yesterday for the final day of the week and our final session on fractions, decimals and percentages. I know I'm sure some of you will be breathing a sigh of relief and others of you will be very sad that the, uh, this area of work is coming to an end. However, I know it is really, really tricky and you are doing such a great job with it. So we're going to be again continuing to solve these problems around the t-shirts and discounts. Um, they will get a little bit trickier for you today. In order to be successful, you're going to need to use your knowledge of fractions, percentages and decimals. In particular, it's those fractions and percentages really. The bar models are really useful to help you represent the problems and break the problems down. And once again, we are going to need to work methodically. There are a number of steps to these problems. Um, and actually, if we break it down into smaller steps, it makes it much easier. So let's have a look then. A little reminder again of those key equivalents to be aware of today. And you can always refer back to these if you need to and your previous work from the last couple of weeks. Let's have a look at the first problem then. One shop is selling a T-shirt for £30 with a discount, a 40% discount. How much discount is this? This is very similar to what we were doing um, last session. So we've obviously got our £30 here and our 40% discount is obviously equivalent to 4 tenths. So we need to find 4 tenths of 30 in order to find how much the discount is. So we're going to divide by 10 to begin with. 30 divided by 10 is 3, hence why each tenth is worth 3. We need 4 of them. 4 times 3, 3 times 4 is 12. So the discount then is that £12. So what we may be asked then is what the price of the new t-shirt would be, or what the new, sorry, the new price would be of this t-shirt. So if it's got a discount of £12, that means they're taking £12 off of the original price. So 30, take away 12, like we've got down here, is 18. So the new price would be 18. So once you've found that discount, you take it away from the original price to find the new cost of the t-shirt. So here's another example then here, slightly harder. You'll notice I've worked with pounds and pence here. I'm going to model in a moment underneath here how we can make that a little bit easier. One shop is selling a t-shirt for £3.20 with a 25% discount. So. £3.20, I personally probably think, oh, I'm not sure I like the idea of trying to divide that by four because 25% is equivalent to one quarter. So actually what I've done is I've turned it into pence. So I've done 320 divided by four. I know that 32 divided by four is eight, therefore 320 divided by four is 80, 80p. So a quarter, is 80p. 25% of £3.20 is 80p. It's a very cheap t-shirt. What is the new price of the t-shirt then? So we've got to then see that we're taking off 25% from £3.20. So we're taking it away, we're doing £3.20 take away 80p. Now if you wish, again you can convert your £3.20 into pence, 320 subtract 80, you might use your rounding and adjusting there, you might take away 100 and add back on 20, is 240p or £2.40 as we can see here. So the new cost of that t-shirt is £2.40. So once again I've found that discount of 80p and I've taken it away from the original cost of the t-shirt. 
Okay, so at this point then, green group, you may wish to get started on your activities. Blue group, I'd just like to show you one more example for you to have a look at today that may come up. This is probably the trickiest challenge now, um, and I'm just going to show you how you can break it down methodically, but it really does need for you to show your workings. One shop is selling a t-shirt for £20 with a 25% discount. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to find out then what that would be. So 25% is equivalent to a quarter. So I'm going to do 20 divided by 4, which is equal to £5. Okay. So if it's got a 20%, sorry, 25% discount, if it costs £20 and that 25% discount is £5, the t-shirt is going to cost £15. That's the new price, taking that £5 off, which was that 25%. I've then got another shop is selling the same t-shirt for £18 minus a third off the price. So this time I haven't got to do any conversions between percentages and fractions because actually I've been given the fraction one third. So a third of 18. Well, in order to find a third of 18, I need to divide my 18 by three. The answer is six. So it's a six pound discount. So take away six from 18, leaves me with 12 pound. So I've worked out the cost the new cost of t-shirt one and the new cost of t-shirt two after their discounts. The question then says, which is cheaper? Oh, well I've shown all my workings. The answer is t-shirt two, because t-shirt two is only 12 pound and t-shirt one is 15 pound. So today then, you are going to be solving problems, continuing with the same idea of the t-shirt potentially adding in another step today, whether that's to find the new cost of the t-shirt or whether for some of you to start comparing the cost of two t-shirts with different discounts. We look forward to seeing your work today and we hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you.